one more round. So that's the final critter for this the to create the uh, the monarch butterfly yeah, bio got, critter. For a little bit, I thought we miscounted, and then I realized I had one just laying over there. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. No, I think you did a pretty, uh, pretty good job of pre, uh, pre-planning and pre-purchasing the materials. Not bad. Yeah. So what we have here is the Laropi spine, going up to uh, the little like marigolds for the eyes. And then we've got two antennae. Mar are those marigolds? I, I'm assuming. I'm trying to remember. I was trying to tell my wife last night. I didn't remember the labels on the pot, but we could find the pot size and probably reconstruct what it was. Yeah. Okay. It's mum bronze orange. I'm sorry. Here they Apparently. are. Mum bronze orange. Mum? Mum, M-U-M. Oh, mum. Okay. Mum bronze orange. And we've got around the perimeter, it looks like a barberry, Japanese crimson pygmy, and then larger plants to represent the uh, spots on the wings. Extremely well executed.